Okay, part two. Let's go ahead and get this thing apart. Uh, you don't need anything fancy on these. Uh, just a standard version tool right here. But the point's been made. These are in really tight. Now, you pull this apart, you have to, if you want to uh, get this job done fairly quick. Now, the deal is, is you hold this and you pull out on it. And you use your burgeon tool on the spring ends on here, on the spring bars. And what should happen is this right here, okay? Pops right out, and here's your spring bar tool right here. See? Didn't really take that much to do that, now did it, fellas? And I've seen some other guys up on the forums fight like crazy to get these apart. Well, if your bracelet's together, that's probably what the problem is. But you need to pull constant pressure here while you're pulling these apart. Sometimes they don't work exactly the way you want them to, but as you can see, I'm not having any problems. I'm using constant pressure on these, and that's what it takes. Okay. Now these are the Omega spring bars. Uh, if you're ever going to replace them, do yourself a favor and uh, don't cheese out. Just go ahead and replace them with uh, Omega spring bars. They make good ones. Not all spring bars are the same. Here is our dive strap. Now, I haven't seen anybody install one of these yet, but eh. We'll go ahead and install one on this one right here. It's going to end up being the same process here. Um, I've seen guys use all kinds of fancy looking tools, but that fancy tool is made for curved uh, spring bars and not these. So that's why the version tool always works good with this. Now, you're going on the back side on this one right here. Get it set down. Now, you're not going to be able to see this, but I take one pin and get it to where it sits inside of the lug horn, and then I can go grab the other one. And if I can't get a good grip on it, I can just take the version tool, slide it right in the shoulder, and with light pressure, bring it in, and then move this around. Now, of course, I didn't put a scratch anywhere on this. Now, here it is. Here's the strap. This side's on. Okay. No problem there. Do the same procedure over here. Just needs to get set in. And you take one side while you're holding on pressure and just get the spring bar itself to drop down into the lug horn. And then use your thumb on the other side. Oops missed that one but we already got one side in and we're really not using any pressure on this here to get these done it really doesn't require any this side is being a little bit more ornery this morning so again I'll snag the burgeon tool here and just put it on the edge of the uh, spring bar get it to slide down in the place without screwing up my uh, my lugs. Ah, see now, even I can have some problems with these. Still, only takes just a matter of minutes to get these things in place. Okay. Now this one's clicked and it should be locked in. Okay. This one is on. Kind of like their straps too. They're pretty good. Um, not as good as the uh, Sinew one, 22 millimeters. I saw one of those put on this watch. Didn't exactly fit very well though. It was kind of up into the uh, um, bezel on it. Okay, now there it is. That's installed. Uh, part three, we'll go ahead and take this off and put the bracelet back on.